The first Bernardas I'm going into was the um, donation centre. As I said, there is two and there's the shop further down. This is still something that you can look around, but majority of the stuff is sorted here and very often you have to rummage round. I do like looking at the pictures, the artwork, frames, things like that because you can either replace what's in the frames and it's a more reasonable um, way of um, getting your frames rather than going somewhere like Hobbycraft, although we have gone to Hobbycraft for some frames before, um, it does keep the cost down. They have a number of um, electrical appliances and everything and I have bought a couple of items from here before and everything is actually tested so that is something so you know you have actually got some guarantee there and although I've never actually physically taken anything back to um, this charity shop if you keep your receipt you can return items within reason or if something doesn't fit, but I never have, so I've never had that problem. Um, they've got an awful lot of glassware, and this is a good idea um, to use glassware in making gifts up, making some form of um, decoration or anything like that, or if you just need to replenish your glassware for an occasion. I look at it this way, not everything has to match. Um, you could have it, it means it's glassware, it can um, it can be all oddments because it's all glass. Now this is something I have actually purchased from Ikea but I've got the white ones here uh, and I know this one's red. If it had been white I might have considered it. Um, I can't really remember how much I paid. I used one actually to store all my rolls of wrapping paper in. I'm always looking out for pieces that I can reuse in a different way um, as you've probably seen on a series I'm doing on Think Out The Box. They have a number of um, different DVDs and usually unless they state otherwise they're usually about um, 30 pence each. A couple of doors down is their main shop. This is where I would say all the the nice and the better stuff goes um, once it's been sorted at the donation centre. I don't mind looking through the bins and the boxes and everything. I think it's a, like a mini treasure hunt, but this is where it's all um, set out, um, usually um, arranged in, you know, colour and um, whatever, whether it's... Um, ladies wear men's children's things like that so if you're looking for a particular um color then they go through obviously the sizings and everything so i still like to look around and you can often find that one piece that you really wanted or you know that you can match up with something you got what i do like looking at is the little mini displays they've done of anything you know that's either near new or has been donated and it just shows you how you can put pieces together right from shoes bags jewelry and clothing and i think this turquoise color or teal is absolutely beautiful Right, now for my charity shop haul. Um, as you've seen previously, I showed you a video of um, especially Bernardo's um, charity shop. I went in their drop-off centre, which is also a shop. Then a few doors down, as I said before, they do have their shop, which um, actually um, houses the more um, should I say nicer stuff and new stuff and things like that and as you've seen the footage it's all the clothing is like colour coordinated and split between females, males and children. Um, I did go actually um, to my doctor's surgery I had an appointment mostly because I've been suffering from the bites that I had when we was away in Warwickshire 
um, there was a lot of wooded land, um, you know, woods and things, and we went, you know, for walks and everything. So I don't know whether you can see if I watch around, but I have been suffering really badly, and I've I had a couple that really did um, swell up. This one um, here did on my arm, so I've now got um, tablets and cream for that. Yeah, the rest of the family, yeah, they had a couple of bites. Nothing, you know, they're all dinky dory. Me, everything takes me. I always seem to have everything worse than everybody else. It takes me longer. And I've been using insect cream, E45 cream in the end. Um, I struggled really badly yesterday and last night, so I thought I'd better go and get just checked out. As I said, I've got them all here, I've got them on my legs. I don't know if you can see them, I've got them all here, all down this arm as well. And very irritating. I'm trying to stay um, fairly cool, although it, it has been um, overcast today. Um, it seems if I stay cooler, it does actually seem to not aggravate it as much as being too warm. Well, anyway, that's enough of me waffling. Let me get straight on um, to my haul. Now, the first thing is I got this box. Um, which was £3. Um, it looks like all the prices are still on the um, things I bought. So I've got this um, box and it's got like the brass latch here and hinges at the back. I've got a couple of ideas for this and there we are. I am trying to get more into um, aromatherapy and oils and everything. So I thought this is a little bit loose so that will have to be... Um, stuck down so it's got this bigger compartment here and then it's got these individual one one of the ideas was because I understand um, especially if I get into um, oils they are supposed to be kept out of direct sunlight and stored in a dark box so that was one idea I had another idea is hubby's got a lot of these sort of things for his um ciggy so just to um show you what i mean which also um the oils are basically the same size so that would fit in lovely another idea um not that i probably will use it for this is you could actually if you wanted to keep it out and it worked with your decor you could store your lipsticks or baby lips or whatever and i have actually seen that even with the lid down that it still closes so just a, a few things um i thought this was really versatile or as i said because it's loose just take this out re-paint the bottom or cover it um, even in material and use it for jewellery, anything. So it, it's got quite a few um, uses. I've always liked the idea, not so much with this. I have got a box, but I use it more um, to keep my melts in. But I'd always like the idea of having a tea box, you know, with all the different tea bags. I'm not a tea drinker, I'm a coffee drinker. Hub is a tea drinker, but I have got a very good friend who likes all the different teas. So I think it'd be nice to have just a mixture of teas, but maybe not necessarily this box, but that's something I will look into. Or it could be a tea box, because um, if you know my kitchen and you've seen it in shots, I do have the black um, marbly like um, work surfaces so this would look lovely I could just see it as a tea box and um, hub is pretty handy I could have the divisions even make some as I say do the inside and have some divisions for the tea bags so there's quite a few yeah I picked it up and I was going as I do, and I'm thinking out the box, as you might have seen with my um, series that I'm doing at the moment, is, um, you know, thinking out the box. And especially if I can think of two or three different ideas for something, as I say, for something like that, I think it's tick, 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 a brilliant idea to get something like that. Right, I've counted the boxes, well, the bags in these, and there were 
from originally from IKEA. Those should have been 24, but I've counted 20. Um, you can use it as an advent calendar. Um, as I said, it is um, a few short, but that's not why I bought it. I just liked the bags. Um, I like to do um, little um, gift bags. And I thought these were my lovely treats to put um, on the Christmas table. There's that one. And as I said, I counted 20. So, you know, you could have a little gift in there. Instead of a, I do something like this rather than a um, Christmas crackers. So I could put maybe a little quote in or even a joke. Um, a little gift and some chocolates and the other one is these snowmen I think actually this is actually my favorite with the forest green and the snowman and failing that you could even um, you know cut it out you don't have to use it as a bag and I think again it's got three four different um, reasons you could use it as a advent calendar and just um, replace the ones that are missing or as I said have little treat bags or even little gifts and as I said look and that one's got like a, a rabbit on well I would actually be more tempted to keep the grey ones up for Easter and just use the red and the green ones and keep these up um, because this, I think there's seven in here um, for the um, grey ones so I might do that actually. Like I said, three or four, you know, ideas for different things and I said these were originally, because um, it says on the back IKEA and the numbers I can use um, on my cards or anything like that. So that's that. I know I shouldn't buy any more makeup bags, but I like buying makeup bags. I use them. I think this one was 25 pence and it's got the um, bright pink. Doesn't look as though it's actually been used. But I tend to use these things not just as makeup bags, but as um, project bags. Um, craft bags anything I've even got one that I have said before my um, London one that I use for my medication bag and you know if I've got a little um, project maybe a cross stick project or something and I have the different um, makeup bags as said with the different pieces in again if it's something that I've got from the charity shop and um, it doesn't look as though it's been used sometimes I've bought makeup bags that are like in their packaging sometimes makeup bags um you've i've purchased and i know that you've they've possibly got um as a free item with different products i can use them and keep them up as gifts and then um just place in the bag um products that i know that particular person would like so just as I said, there's quite a few things you can use these for. They don't just have to be for makeup. I say I store a number of different things um, in them, um, like I said. Still on the Christmas, they had an awful lot of Christmas stuff and I did rein it in. I could have bought the whole shop up on the stomach. I've got two of these, one's in the forest green and one's in this cream, both saying Santa's Grotto. These are still in the plastic and these were 49p and it does have the twine on the back so you can hang it up. So we do have a large tree which anything and everything goes on and I'm sorry I know we're in the midst of summer and I'm talking about Christmas. I have it at the back of my mind all year round because this is how I keep my costing down. Now a couple of things. Um, you could make your own sign. I could have them on my tree because I've got a really big tree. Another idea is, if, especially if you've got quite a, um, a large gift or something, and as I said, I've stacked gifts on top of one another, different sizes, I could have something like that. I, even if I didn't want to write on it, I could actually put um, a white label on put to and from whoever and then they've got a nice little um, decoration as part of their gift. I do like putting um, Christmas decorations, especially if I get them reasonable like this 
and putting them on the gifts and I've said this before gift wrapping is one of my favorite things I like to do sad I know it is but it's something I love doing and finding different ways to wrap gifts so, and obviously um, you know putting the um, finishing touches to gifts so I so said they were 49 p each the next one I didn't buy a basket but I said uh, did buy a few bits of storage I got this nice pine um, trough um, this was a pound um, it's in the pine wood and I could just see some oasis in there um, maybe more I think for the lighter weather maybe spring summer yes I could see myself putting red and green bows on here or even a ribbon on the outside and putting some Christmas foliage in there and maybe some artificial candles the battery operated ones so I could just see that but this is basically the wood of my dining room set and my table so I quite like the idea of um, at, at the um, near future of changing something out on my dining room table I've had the um, arrangement on there now for some time that I've made um, which is red, white, yellow and a bit of black in there. So I might do something with this next. So I just thought it can be just storage and something else that would look nice. Going back to gifts, this will make a nice um, idea to put spa things in, you know, for a gift with cellophane or even in our own bathroom. Again, we've got a lot of wood, although it's slightly darker than this. And you could just make it into a spa little um, basket for yourself. So again, three or four different things for that. On the wood theme, this was, it's still in its cellophane, as you can see. Um, this has actually got boots on the back. So, and this was 50p and it's solid wood. And what I do like about this um, which from besides it being a decent size is I like these curves aside to baskets I do love things that are wood and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this I do keep a number of things that I can frame um, right from um, postcards although this is obviously bigger than a postcard um, things that I've seen um, you know just general things but I'm sure I come up with these I do have a small stash of photo frames that I keep in a box so I've got them when the urge um, takes me to do something but with this I don't think I do much with it I just find I think something nice to go in there like I said I just like the curves on this one and I think that was really nice and again brand new in the cellophane and it was boots and for 50p I don't think you can um same thing another thing is um great idea for gifts to put um a photo get a photograph of a family member or especially the grandkids or anything and just giving them away as gifts so brilliant next one we have bought no end of these from um ikea again this one was actually 30p, it only had the one. I like these, it just needs um, a good wipe over. But because they're flexible, we do have a lot of black in our house. And what I do like about these is they have the, if you haven't seen these, I've got them in um, the drawers in my um, cubby and um, I've got them upstairs and a lot of the drawers. And what I like about it, when you've not got them in use, you just unzip it and it lays flat. And it is actually um, a little bit forgiving because, you know, if it's a little bit of a, a tight squeeze, you know, you can flex it a little bit to get it in the space, as long as obviously it, finishes, it fits in height-wise. Um, I do go for a stage, I have these sort of things on my little bookcase that I have in our lounge. And as you might know, again, Christmas Tom I use it as a wrapping station and these sort of things are handy because these fit on the shelves that I know because I've done it in the past but also 
pulling them out and when you're looking at the shelving you can't tell it's a wrapping station you know put all the bows and everything in there ribbons scissors everything that i need another one will have tags in i did go through all this um say um last year for christmas so i just like that anything to do with storage and i'm there another thing i got so this was over majority of it did come from the Bernardo's drop-off center the only one thing that i got from the other Bernardo's was the knitting doll this is exactly like the one that I got previously, which was brand new. This one was 50p. Now the little dolly bit is um, not in the great condition, but it's still workable. And it's something I discussed at my craft group because a lot of them are not into knitting. There is a few that knits and we just wanted to bring a bit more, um, some other craft in. So we thought about the knitting dolls. It was surprising how many people when I was explaining what I was on about the knitting doll didn't know what it was. And I'm hoping most of you do, as I say with the prongs. And I did have the idea, but you cannot get the wooden um, cotton reels. I did look on a couple of car boots, but, you know, in case, you know, in a little box, you know, people sell things off and I couldn't, haven't found them, to put like the tacks in to to actually um, do the prongs there. So I have now got, aside to my own, and I've got another two that I've got from different um, charity shops. So I've got three at the moment, because um, most of the cotton reels are plastic now. So as I said, I'm looking out for more of these. Aside, I did not find another fuzzy felt. That's still on my, on my agenda. Now, this has got a couple of ideas as well. This was £1.20. It's a tiny little bit um, beat up, not much, as you can see. And so this is one time. It's a box like that. Now, this could be a couple of things. As I said, I do like wooden things and I do like this leather look. That would look nice. Now, Christmas time, we do play cards, and I thought that would be nice to set out with cards in, you know, playing cards. Another idea I had, which is what I did, last Halloween I did a wreath, I did do it on my channel, and I had a bit of a Harry Potter theme on my mantle behind me. And I thought, looking at this, it looked like a mini case, so I was wondering whether, you know, I could find even a piece of leather and make it that it looks almost like a suitcase and all just have it on the side on my mantle like that i have got a few harry potter pieces that i can put with it and it will make a nice um different decoration um going into the autumn and into halloween so that is that so again two or three ideas could be for playing cards it could be um as i said um as a suitcase or geez, just as a, an ornament and so I just like and I like the stud work on it as well so I'm sure I find find something for that now now for a few bits from my granddaughter can't I had to replace some of the bits we are um, hoping to take her away again um, in a few weeks this was 50p and it's this wooden jigsaw and I just love it because the animals are solid. And I just think that is a lovely idea. And if she's anything like um, my friend's grandkids, you can make things out of boxes. And even with the jigsaw, get a box, you can make like a farmyard. And because these are quite um, thick pieces, these will make good um, as another game. And she's very much, she's 20 months old, and she's very much into old MacDonald. And she loves making the noises. So, again, you know, child's play, you know, different things to use it. And I wanted something else for the caravan. Another thing to keep up for the caravan is this book. Now, this book was 30 pence. 
but it's a turn one. So on this side, you've got ruffled still skin. And there's the pictures. Sad. I've got some lovely bright pictures, which is what she, she likes. Then you turn it over and you've got Puss and Boots. So you've got two books for the price of one and it's in beautiful condition. So um, set for 30p for two books in one, I thought was a good idea. And also don't take a lot of room again for the caravan. Now I got um, four items of clothing. I only bought four, I really reined it in. I was looking for more like leggings, um, especially to keep at our home um, as backup. But I think the trouble is with leggings, um, they do wear, especially on the knees, especially at this age group. But I've mostly went for, um, I've got three of them, I've actually like a t-shirt material, but got the long sleeve. So the first one I've got, which is actually a Tesco's one, and if I hadn't said it, it was four items for £1.49. And it's this striped material with this purple and white. So very in between um, sort of weather wise one. And again, you can layer it. So that's that one. So I've got to wash these. The next one is this one. And it is got the three like ladies or girls on there and one's got a bow and that one's got like a little flower on her head i just think oh that's really adorable so i'm gonna have to wash these and the other one which i'm hoping will fit her um that one was it just says autograph so i'm not 100 percent sure is it Primark? No, Marks and Spencers, that one. And this one, I am not 100% sure if this is actually a pyjama top. It could have been. This is, this is actually Peck and Co. Again, I've got two to three years. But I've already got a pair of white, um, like, buttons. So I thought this would make a nice um, backup. Um, pajama sets so I got the top and the other time I got the white bottoms so I think it would make a nice pajama set as I said I don't always know what's pajamas unless it's got pajamas on or some form of sleep and what is not so I don't really think it matters so much as long as it doesn't look too much like a pajama top but anyway I just thought that was really nice and it's got Snow Gorgeous on. So that's that one. And the other one is a dress. Um, it's Indigo collection. I think it's a little bit short, but I think with shorts underneath or three quarters or even leggings, it... I mean, she is quite um, tall for her age and that, but I think that is so gorgeous with the little mouse. As I said, a lot of these are, you know, just as backups. I know she normally comes with her bag and um, even when she's, they're just popping in and as you do with a toddler and make sure you've got plenty of um, pieces. It's just I like to have a couple of extra bits in just in case you know i believe that is it yes it looks like it so um hope you've enjoyed my charity shop with me and my haul thanks for watching goodbye